Greetings fellow RTS lovers. Today I will show you and teach you everything you need to know about modding Dawn of War Definitive Edition. So let us begin. So the first thing that you need to do to play with mods, install the mod manager. For the Definitive Edition we will use this one. Not that one that comes with Unification the pre-installed, but this one. There will be a link in the description for this. Just click on it and download it. When you have downloaded it, drop the exe and drop it into game files. Now you can open it and use it form and the definitive edition. So you no need two, you just need one. Now we will continue installing the Ultimate Apocalypse mod. So now I will show you how to install the Ultimate Apocalypse mod. So as you can see there is the newest version. This one is for Definitive Edition and this one is for Soulstorm. We of course want this one. Just link, it will be in the description. Download now. Now you want to Take the main exe, drop it into the game, and double click to run it. So Windows will show you something like this. You want to click yes. Of course, read everything in here. Type agree. And now you can select if you want only the ultimate apocalypse and other things. Click next. And now you need to select your Try to find relic folder here, click mods. Now create new folder and create folder named UA and click OK. As you can see I have already installed it so for me it's there. Now just click OK and as you can see it will require 2.9 gigabytes of storage. And just click install and it will install automatically. To the game. So as, as you can see, it's now completed. So just click close, and you can boot it up from in-game. You can boot it up from the Steam or the desktop icon, but I would recommend to do it through the mod manager. Now, as you can see, that mod Mod manager doesn't see, see the ultimate apocalypse mod. It's because it's in early development for the definitive edition and I'm sure it will be available in the future. But for now, you just want to start base game. And you do this because you want no intro movies and special stuff that this provides. Start game. And now, as you can see, up the Dawn of War Definitive Edition. Now, as you can see, we are in Definitive Edition. And now, what you need to and select Ultimate Apocalypse mode. While watching this video, it will Hotfix 2. I have still Hotfix 1 but it doesn't change anything and this will work for every mod, every version to come in the future. So don't worry if this is outdated. Then click activate and now as you can see the game is rebooting and it's still the definitive edition. So as you can see it's now looking as the old one and you can't change the options etc. but it's Ultimate Apocalypse on the Dawn uh, of War Definitive Edition engine. So as you can see, this is much higher resolution. I show you how to install the Unification. Now I will show you how to install the Unification mod for the Definitive Edition of Dawn of War. So do not need the installer. 
only need the mod itself, which is this file, or any other unification file with higher number in the future. This applies for the future updates, so no worries. If this is, for example, we 8 it will still apply. Download it and it to the game folder itself. Right click on it and extract here. Now just wait until it's done. The mod itself has like is like 30 gigabytes and the archive is 20. And the game it's like 15. So it's really really huge. That's why it would, will take a lot of time to extract it. Just be patient. So now, when it's done, to go to the exp2, copy the movie file, and place it into the unification folder. Now, you can get access to location exclusive features like pane greater launch it here change the campaign settings battle fortresses etc you can make a shortcut to your desktop if you want now to launch the mod start the mod We are here. As you can see, we have booted up the Soulstorm Unification mod. You can tell that it's definitive edition by that the UI is not like in the corners that it used to be it here. It's because updated yes yet. It works, but it's not perfect. Big disclaimer. Mod is still in early access. And it's not made for the definitive edition. It just works together. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And... Else. Of course, I need you to ask to like the video and share it. If someone needs help. And YouTube. That you can boost video that you like or small creator as me so it costs nothing and 